So guys, welcome back to Jacob in Between, where we get to film and talk and chat a little. As you can see, the chat's here uh, together in between other segments. So we just finished recording a segment on Hermes. Be sure to check out the Hermes School of Affluence video on my channel. But uh, now we're going to talk about <clears throat> Walt Disney. And we're going to talk about Carl Lagerfeld. So, Karl Lagerfeld and Disney. What the hell do they have in common? Well, they both lived in the same era, more or less. Um, I don't know if Karl ever liked any Disney movies or cartoons, but nevertheless, Disney confirms a new series based on the life of Karl Lagerfeld. They're going to call it Kaiser Karl. Oh, this just made me burp from agony. Disney Plus. Okay, Disney Plus is making a TV show called Kaiser Carl. Now, listen, this made me laugh and cry and fart at the same time. I don't know. Like, all my references just leaked <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm so gross. Sorry. But honestly, like, what the hell? Whatever Disney touches, Disney ruins. Disney ruined the Muppets. Disney... <laughs> ruined Star Wars. The only saving grace is Baby Yoda. Um, now Disney, now Disney's going for Kaiser Carl. Okay. I want to know your opinions on this. I mean, <laughs> Jack, how many censorship are they going to need? Uh, what the hell is it? Uh, girl, I don't know. <laughs> Black and white aesthetic? D. Ashley? What are you talking about, you guys? WTH right. I don't understand. Disney, girls life. They, a product family friendly from Disney. Oh, a family friendly product from Disney. How much censorship are they going to need? Gary says, laugh, cry, fart. Oh my God. Ave Carl says, Robert. Uh, Bando Chatty says, loving this randomness of discussion topics tonight. I could stay up all night. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. I think I, you guys. Okay, his estate approved this as BB. Um, <clears throat> Kaiser Carl represents the first time a dramatic series. <laughs> a dramatic series has focused on the famed fashion designer. Um, and it's allegedly going to to begin in the summer of 1972 of, of his life. And that they're going to follow him up to when he got his uh, appointment at Chanel and then through Chanel as well, I guess. Um, so... They're going to follow him uh, through his uh, time at Yves Saint Laurent. Um, oh, no, 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 no. He wasn't. At, sorry, guys. I'm just reading uh, something completely wrong here. There's nothing to do. Him and Yves Saint Laurent. Bye. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's so it, they're, apparently they're going to highlight the rivalry or the rivalry between Pierre Berger and Kaiser Karl. <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit of a dramatic moment. I'm envisioning because it's Disney, it, envision WandaVision, like the Avengers. <laughs> they're probably going to dress... Quiver's going to be Carl in, in some sort of anti-hero or superhero suit. Then Pierre Berger is going to be the anti-hero. Um, they're going to have their little outfits. Um, I'm envisioning Pierre Berger, who was Yves Saint Laurent's partner. So obviously, <laughs> forget about what I said before. Carl was not at Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, I just was reading like an idiot without thinking. Um, anyway. So the two rivals, so I guess Disney's going to ruin that as well for us. Um, then what else are they going to do? Oh, they're going to highlight uh, his love story with Jacques de Bacher, who was a big drug addict. I wonder how Disney's going to cover that. Are they going to just say that he likes to eat churros in Disneyland? He kind of sniffed churros at Disneyland instead of doing other things. Talk about a family-friendly show. Um, oh, they're also going to highlight how Kaiser Karl built his personal brand and sometimes controversial brand in a very superficial world of fashion. <clears throat> <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, basically the president of the Walt Disney Company at EMEA, uh, whose name is uh, Jan or Jan Kuppen, right? Uh, Disney Plus has stated in a statement that Disney Plus has given them the European division of Disney Plus, I guess, uh, was given by the mothership uh, the um, opportunity <clears throat> to tell uniquely European stories. Um, this is a quote directly from Jan, from Jan. Um, Disney has given us the opportunity to tell uniquely European stories to global audiences. We have an incredibly diverse and exciting European slate, and Kaiser Karl is indicative of the kind of stories we want to be telling. We also felt Lagerfeld's story hasn't really been given its due until now and can't wait to share it with our Disney Plus audience. You guys, you watch The Little Mermaid, you watch an episode of Baby Yoda and then tune in to another episode of Kaiser Carl making out with a drug addict in the back of a seat of some car while, uh, oh God, you guys, this is like this. Jack says, well... That Disney money is good. Leslie says, Kaiser, oh my God, they can't be serious. What the name? It's still due soon. <laughs> Debbie says, Choupette. Choupette said, yeah, Choupette who inherited everything from Carl. Basically everything. Choupette said, oh yes, keep, keep that kitten, that delicious kitten food rolling. Yes, 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 yes. I'm selling Ka my Kaiser Carl's rights. You can make a little series about him as long as I get that Sheba. That special Sheba blend of cat food that I like so much. Thank you so much. Yours truly, Choupette. Uh, Jack says, they legitimately cannot tell a realistic story of Carl's life through Disney's family-friendly censor. I mean, it's a joke. And this is, I mean, it's happening. It's news. But uh, so um, details regarding casting because we're getting to the point of who's going to be Kaiser Carl. Um, it's not been announced yet. Now, this is a partially one of the reasons why I'm making this crazy video. By the way, thumb up the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already here on the YouTubes, and really thumb up the video and comment in the comment section down below who you think is going to be cast as Kaiser Carl. Now, for us in the chats right now who are here live, by the way, I live stream every Saturday, you guys, so join me every Saturday on my channel, and we get to blabber on about all of these funny topics about fashion together let's see what do you guys think in the chats now live who would you see as kaiser carl in the show and for you guys watching later let me know in the comment section down below who you would see as kaiser Ka kaiser carl as carl lagerfeld in the show now Choupette is rolling in cash so she won't care says gary uh, jack says is it a cartoon or a live action live action and debbie says this is a horrid idea Maybe it's a remake of Cinderella with Carl as the wicked stepmother. Cha. Jack says, cancel it. Victoria H. says, I just don't understand why Disney would do this. Because, Victoria, Disney wants to do everything. Disney wants to own everything. Disney wants to have everything. Absolute power. That's Disney. At least that's how it feels to me, which is a shame. It didn't feel like this to me in the past. It's just becoming really a brand that I kind of really avoid lately it just except for baby yoda because they really got me with baby yoda god damn it Gwenly says um i think it's too soon let the man rest in peace victoria says i'm so over this jane says trying to do a halston yes in fact halston is mentioned victoria h very good point halston is mentioned in the conversation about uh kaiser carl because they've seen that halston had such success on netflix uh <clears throat> And also we have a Star Wars is the missing link. Obi-Wan Kenobi was in Halston. Um, so they're even thinking of maybe, could you imagine if he came back to be, after he did Halston, now he's coming back to be Kaiser Carl. I really hope they don't do that because that would be like so uninspired to the highest degree. But that Disney's famous for that. You know, they would just take whatever is popular at the moment. So... Um, yeah, Ewan McGregor as Karl Lagerfeld. Uh, I'm sure with some makeup, they could make him look like him. Ish. Uh, I don't know. Julia. <laughs> Paris. Julia Roberts as Karl Lagerfeld. 
I'm living. This sounds boring as hell, says Ashley. Oh, Yo, you know what? Glenn Close as Carl Lagerfeld. I totally see Glenn Close as Carl. Glenn Close should be Carl. And I'm not even joking, you guys. I think the woman... First of all, Glenn Close deserves at least 50 Oscars. That woman is a miracle of acting. And she never got an Oscar. And it's, it's, it's embarrassing that uh, they never gave her an Oscar because she's just amazing. And I think she would be great as Carl Lagerfeld. I really, really do. Victoria says, maybe Disney wants to get into a more adult industry. No pun intended. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Victoria, uh, DVS says, Victoria, well, it's been alleged that Disney has always been in the adult industry. Oh, behind the scenes, they make all those little... Because, you know, we, we know Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But he knew the Seven Dwarfs, if you know what I mean. The Little Mermaid? <laughs> she wouldn't add little when he dealt with her. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, they, I mean, they own production companies not running under the Disney name. They did. They did. They still do, you know, to make adult uh, movies. Yes. Money's money, and Disney's about the money. Uh, it remains family-friendly. What do you think? Most of those fathers from those families pay to see those movies. So, in a way, it's family-friendly because it's a family father. And sometimes even the family mother because, hey, why would only guys want to watch certain types of movies, right? <clears throat> oh, yes, Daniel Day-Lewis. Perfect, says Lisa Rose for... Uh, Karl Lagerfeld. This is a horrible idea, says Janet. Paris says, Timothy Chalamet. Oh my God, you know, Paris, how much I cannot stand Timothy Ch Chalamet. Chalamet not, because he already ruined Dune for me, okay? Then he had to ruin Johnny Depp in Scissorhands. I know they just did a commercial, but still. And now, no, Chalamet not ruin Carl, okay? Okay. <laughs> Gosh, autocorrect. Cool. Cruella, LOL. Yes, she was Cruella de Vil. Um, uh, who's the actor in The English Patient? Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe they'll cast Ewan McGregor then. No, ja. Oh, oh, Joaquin Phoenix, says Eliza. I mean, maybe. He's a bit cuckoo, though. Carl was not that cuckoo. Leslie says, I'm thinking Brad Pitt, maybe. Ooh, Leslie. I mean, okay. <laughs> I could do Brad Pitt. Yeah. But Julia Roberts as... Um, <laughs> that's just so funny. Julia Roberts as Carl is, to, is so funny. Joaquin Phoenix as Eliza. Mm. Uh, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, yeah. He also cuckoo. Matthew McConaughey. Mm. He doesn't have that energy. Brad Pitt is a bit more calm. Tilda Swinton. <laughs> Tilda Swinton. Oh my God, Robert. John Waters as Carl. Now that's a show I would watch because that would be the right trash. If Disney had an ounce of intelligence, they would hire John Waters as Carl Lagerfeld. And then, and, and, if they were even more intelligent, they would allow John Waters to direct the TV series. Now, that's something I would watch. John Waters directing a series about the life of Karl Lagerfeld and acting as Karl Lagerfeld. Now, that's something. Take my money. Take my money right away. Take my money right away. The Ashley would like to see Jared Leto as um, Karl. Jeff Goldblum from 20 years ago says Pixel X is, well, you know, Carl was also, you know, a bit long in the tooth himself. So Goldblum could be Carl because they're going to expand it to Carl's life up until his death, I guess. Lisa Rose says, of course, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp could be a good Carl as well. I agree with you. Johnny Depp. Oh, my God, Jack. That's a great. Jack says, hold on. What if John Waters was every character? Even better. <laughs> Even better. Aisha says, oh my god, yes, John Waters. Gary says, would have to be a good actor to get his accent, character, and body language. Jesus says, Stephanie Germanata as Carl with a thick German accent. Yeah, because she really delivered the Italian accent. Um, Jeff Goldblum is way too tall, says Debbie. 
Yeah, but you know Carl always had his hidden heels. Jeff doesn't need those. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. First of all, does this show, should it even be made the way that Disney's kind of planning on making it? Or is it, let's cancel it before it even hits the second, third, fourth draft board? Two, if this shenanigan of a thing actually hits a draft board and they start um, casting, who would you like to see as Kaiser Carl? And who would you like to see directing the show on Disney Plus Europe? Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumb up this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on the Instagrams and the social medias. This, 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 this. Super Dick all spelled together. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can also follow me on my Chanel shenanigan Instagram profiles. One is called Coco Chanel is in my house. All spelled together, dedicated to my Chanel collection. The other one is called Coco Chanel Privé. All spelled together, dedicated to the life of Coco Chanel. You can also become a member today. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Gain access to extra perks. You can also follow me on Patreon. Super Dick all spelled together on Patreon as well. Or get the moich. Super Deca merch available now on www.superdeca.com. We got pouches, we got hatlets, we got fanny bags, we got t shirts, you name it, we got it. See y'all soon. Never forget to never give up on love. Love you. Take care. Bye.